Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Automation Hub Sarthak and in multiple object extraction part 2 English video I'll tell you about printing names and prices in Flipkart and other things as well. I mean we will try to make find out multiple um, object extraction from the same web page. What I mean is let's say for example you go to Flipkart and let's say you go to fashion and men's let's say We'll go with men's t-shirts. In the Hindi video, I've gone with the formal shirts. Once again, why it is not loading? Okay. So let's say, for example, you want to write the name, the brand name, the price. Uh, similarly, there are other things which we can find out. But we'll go with these three. In the Hindi video, I just took the name and the price. Uh, we'll also go with the brand this time in this video. So it's just how do you uh, extract all of these things which are here. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. So I'll just create a new class. Uh, Flipkart underscore the English video. So I'll write the code quickly. dot setup so I'll just write the code quickly I hope you guys write code and not copy paste I mean it's not a good thing to copy paste all the time especially the ones who are learning automation so I'll just copy this URL and paste it okay so this one will be here so trying to open this link now what we need to do is we need to determine how to you know uh, make a relationship and try to extract all these links together so let's go with the name for or let's go with the brand first this ftx sidkrt so us poll association anyways i'll just go ahead right click inspect so let me inspect again i'll take the inspector point okay so i have a class let me copy the class and let me write the xpath okay we are having 40 elements so this is for the brand this is the class which we can use this is the common across so i'll copy this class and i'll go here i will write driver dot find elements by <coughs> dot xpath sorry this will return me a list of web element And I'll write here all t shirts. I'll just import the package using java.util.list. So this will uh, determine the accumulation of all the um, t shirts in this particular web page of Flipkart. Now, what I'm going to do, if you want, you can print the total number of uh, t shirts that are available. So I'll just go ahead and just print something using the size method. So uh, total t-shirts in this web pages, all t-shirts dot size. So this much we know so far, I mean, not a big deal. So this is pretty easy. Uh, now I'll just uh, do a demarcation line so that it will be easy if, if I want to determine something else. So I'll just make a demarcation line. Okay. Save it. Now the next thing is 
I want to determine, let's say, the name of these shirts, like a printed man, round neck, solid man. Also, so I'm gonna write, you know, uh, an X path for the same. But, 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 let's say, for example, I want to get all these. See, here we'll determine the total number of t shirts. What if I want to print the name of all the brands, these uh, 40 which we saw in the X path down here? So I'm going to use, you know, an advanced for loop. So I'll write webl for web, sorry, element, let's say E. And I'll use this all t shirts. Okay. And what I can do, I can just simply print it. P dot get text. So this this small this small for each loop will give me all the names of the t-shirts. And how does it do that? This will iterate over all the sports t-shirts. Sorry, it's t-shirts or sports t-shirts. Whatever. It's t-shirts. And every time it iterates, it will pull out a web element and give the web element in this E variable. As simple as that. Oh, something I dropped. So that's as simple as that. So let's go ahead and just do a check. Uh, okay, guys. So many people see uh, that they're not able to see the screen. So what I can do is I'll take the whole screen. Okay, yeah, this looks good, I guess. I've removed the package explorer, everything you just see. The coding screen so let's go ahead and probably from next video onwards i'll write like this so uh, i'm running the code let's see okay i'm not interested in the web page i'm interested in the output console we'll be waiting for the output sometimes flipkart page doesn't open you know it might throw an error or something yeah it's still okay it, it is opening it is opening okay see we have got the names of the brands we're looking for that's great we got the names of the brands okay so now let's say for example you also want the um, prices or the uh, names of t-shirts we got the t-shirt brand names let's say what are the type of t-shirts we can we can just do that so let's go ahead and create another so what we need to do uh, let me close this control by automation browser so let's say i want to get this pack of four solid men and you know striped men and all these things so let me click here i just click on the type so here let me again go to the inspector have another cross check so i have a class irpwta I'll copy this. This is a div at the rate class equal to. Okay, I think it was not. Uh, maybe. Oh, my bad. It is an anchor tag. Sorry. At the rate class equal to. Okay, we have 40. So I can use this X path. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to directly go ahead and write my list of web elements so let's say um all t-shirts okay so here instead of all t-shirts i'll write all t-shirt brand names that will be much better so i'll make it here brand names so you can go ahead and make here brand names so I'll write all t-shirt name types, something like that. Equal to driver dot find elements by dot x path. I think my battery has gone down. Oh, sorry. Okay, I think I need to plug in the charger, guys. One second, I'll just copy this. Save it. Let me plug in the charger. Just hold for a second. Wait 
Okay, the charger is plugged. Okay, cool. So now I can determine the size. So we have already seen that uh, the XPath said that it had 40. So I mean, if you want, you can go ahead and print this line too, but it doesn't really make any sense. But still, I'll go ahead and print it. So I'll just type so. Uh, total types of t-shirt names are something like that. This dot size. Okay. So this one is easy. Now, let's say, for example, you again want to print all of it. You know, you want to print all the names. So I'll just go ahead and create. Uh, so let me also copy this. It will give a demarcation line. And let me go ahead and make another for each loop. So I can do for web element again. We can define D. Let's say this all shirt name types. Okay. And I just want to get the names printed. So I can just go ahead and do the get text. It's a very simple phenomenon. I'll just go and execute this again. I'm not bothered about the output. I'm more bothered about the output console. It might take some time because uh, the web page is having a lot of web elements and it will load. You can see first you have the uh, total t shirts and these are the brand names. Uh, so, and these are total type of t shirt names and these are the different uh, t shirt names, you know. And it's the, so, now let's uh, we go ahead. Similarly, if you want, you can also print the prices uh, you just have to go ahead and uh, you know you just have to go ahead and right click on the price so let's say this one price right click inspect it and you see if you want have a cross check and go to the inspector again speak specifically on the price and you have this class specific so it's a div tag div at the rate class equal to this so it, it has 40 so you can use this x path so let's go ahead and do it it's no big deal so i'll directly go list of web element and add t-shirt prices equal to driver dot find elements by dot x path and we'll print the prices If you want, you can print the total prices. Total prices list number of t shirts is you can do this t shirt prices dot size. This is also a possibility. If you want, you can do that now. If you want to write to print everything, you can use the same thing. And you can just print it. So if you run the output, it will also give you the same output. Now, I don't want these things, all these lists to be, you know, one below the other in the output console. I want all of them in one particular line. Like, I want to print first the brand name. So, I want the output something like this. Uh, so, I want the brand name to be get printed here, followed by uh, the type of the t-shirt, 
followed by price of the t-shirt so if i want it in this particular format what do i do so let's go ahead and do that see always remember there is one thing there is a concept which you need to remember we have how many lists here this is the first list we have this is the second list we have and this is the third list you can create multiple lists depending upon how you are how your logic is but always remember there are three lists over here one list has got the brand names and the other one has got the type of t-shirt and the other one has got the price so all these three lists would have matching indexes so technically speaking the indexes first name would have you know the brand name uh, corresponding would be having corresponding uh, first index of the second list would be having the t-shirt type and the third uh, third list uh, first index would be having the price so what happens is extraction in automation happens from left to right and then from top to bottom so left to right left to right left to right it comes from top and then goes to the bottom so what happens is this indexing will help us to determine all these things together in one particular row but for that we cannot use these things we cannot use these for each loops this will not work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to make them as comments because it will not work because if you do this if you use these for each loops it will just held it will just hold that particular thing in in you know one after the other format so if you want to use uh, if you want to determine that in one particular row then you have to use a traditional for loop okay you have to use a traditional for loop and these things will work so let me go ahead and make a traditional for loop for int i equals to 0 i less than will go with the brand name doesn't matter you can go with anything because everything is 40 dot size and then i plus plus so now i can just print print that and i'll get the indexing part of it and that's it so i'll just use this dot get i dot get text this i'll do and then i'll do the printing and then i'll go with the name types dot get i dot get text and then I'll go with the t-shirt prices dot get i dot get text so this will give us all the brand names all the ty types of t-shirts and all the prices in one particular line all of it will be listed together so let's see the output so we'll wait for a while this page is, is it's still loading okay now it has loaded you see see this is what we wanted so it is again up to you i mean if you want to print one after the other you can use this one this for each loop if you want a conventional indexing way of using different lists and you want everything printed here you can just use this conventional for loop method to extract all these objects so this is as simple as that uh, i hope you like this session i have already put this in the hindi format so because I have to maintain both my Hindi and English playlist, I had to do the same video in the English format as well. And thank you so much for watching the video and thanks for supporting my channel and continue subscribing and sharing. Thank you so much. Satya signing off.